out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Post Void, which is a new game. It's on Steam. And uh, full disclosure, I didn't get this. I didn't my, get my copy from the developers. I got it from a uh, one of my friends on Steam, a, a subscriber. Tragedy, thank you very much. Use the mouse to look around. Um, and, and we're going to play. Wow, it's very fast. I like it. Um, it's got that sort of doom feel. All right, hold controller, shift to... Right, so we can slide, right, got it. All right, what else are we doing? So this is, the liquid in your idol is your health. Okay, cool. Why is my health running out? Kill enemies three again. Oh my God. Wow, I'm just bad at this. I am hella bad at this. And the, the head liquid drains really quickly. Right. Woo! Alright, first there was the void. Wow, that is very loud. Then there was a headache. And a flower of hope that would give birth to a sanctuary. Wow, this is definitely designed to mess with your uh, senses and stuff. Ooh, there's a flower! With his head in hand, he who bore the pain would try to reach the void again. Excellent. I'm ready to reach the void again. The place where nothing moves, where darkness is lord, and silence its preacher. A place of peace. Alright. There his head can pour freely onto a new seed, which with renewed purpose will sprout life. Yeah, the head thing is weird, but that's cool. But alas, ceaseless violence and unapologetic noise would again be wallpapered to the corridors of past serenity. Alright. A time known as Post Void. A place known as Post Void. Alright, so now we're playing. This is Post Void. Alright, let's play Post Void. There's a couch there. So it's like, we're like in a house or something. Got it. So, I don't... Right. I guess we restart. We want to go faster. Right. Yeah. All right. So we're going. We need to. Uh... Okay. I don't know how we're supposed to get further, but I guess I guess we keep trying. Oh my God. We got, we got nowhere that time. Right. So, so far, it's seeming like it's a bit harder than, um, yeah, there we go. We're making it a little bit further. Yeah. Uh, and the, the fact that, like, your life drains as you're going anyway is seems bit it seems a bit bad but that's fine i guess the key is you got to aim for headshots yeah yeah no yeah gotcha we are making it further now that we're getting some headshots so that's good and i guess they do give us enough uh baddies to fight so that we don't just get immediately killed by um time running out Definitely the game is does not want you to uh, explore. The game wants you to run and jump and, and shoot. Kind of feels like Hotline Miami, but... Um... Yeah, there we go. And we'll get some of that. We just got to go fast. And also we don't want to get hit, right? Because that's... Thank you. No. So we're getting shot. Right, well... I am getting better at it, I guess, but I'm going to fast forward until we get to um, the next level.
I made it! What is this one? Less slowdown when touching enemies. Points toward the goal. Let's go with Uzi. We've got an Uzi now. Alright. What are those things? Oh, those are new. Alright. Yeah. 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 There we go. Okay, so we're figuring out the game. The idea is not to worry too much about things that you that you don't kill and just keep going. So I'm doing much better. I'm doing much better now. Um now that I've sort of got the vibe. Oh, why do I what? Am I back at the <sighs> okay, so I'm back at level one. Back at level one, I have to start all the way over. I don't like that. I don't like having to start all the way back over from the beginning. That is not fun. Um, I get it, though, because it looks like there's only 11 levels, and they do seem to be reasonably short. Um, but I do, not like, I do not like being forced to restart back over on levels that I've beat. Just let me keep playing the levels until I beat them and let me play those levels again. And then I would feel like that was worthwhile. I don't feel like playing procedurally generated levels or random le randomized levels over and over and then not getting to keep my progress is worthwhile. I do not like that. I am enjoying the game, but I do not like having my progress reset. I hate it. Yeah, I, I absolutely hate it. So... <laughs> Okay, so we're back here at the start because I died on the second level again and I don't like losing all my progress. I understand why this game is doing that because I guess the idea is you incrementally get further and further on each run. I don't like that so much. Um, that was definitely a feature of older style games, probably games that would have been made in, the, in this time period where this game looks like it comes from. Um, but I don't like losing all my progress. So I do like the game. But I don't like losing my progress, so I'm, it's the sort of thing where I'm not going to smash my head against the wall of a game to keep getting better and better and incrementally better at it until I can finally, you know, get to the end. Because I just, I, I don't know man, I just have better things to do, different games to play, I have all sorts of games to play, and yeah, incrementally getting better at one is not, like at Post Void at least, is, uh, is not what I'm trying to do. So. Let's go look at the description anyway. All right, Post Void is a hypnotic scramble of early first-person shooter design that values speed above all else. Keep your head full and reach the end. Kill what you can to see it mend. Get the high score or try again. So it rhymes, yeah. So overwhelmingly positive, developed by YCJY Games. Um, like I said, it is it is pretty fun. Like, the, the actual game gameplay is pretty fun. Um, I just... I really, really do not like when games delete all of your progress. Um, you know, because I, I, get, I get it, you know, because the game's actually, if if it didn't delete your progress, the gameplay would probably be pretty, pretty short because you would eventually beat that first level and then you'd eventually beat that sec second level. You'd eventually beat the third level and so on and so forth. So the game might only be an hour long. Um, whereas if you make people go all the way back to the start, you, you know, you're, you're padding out the time. But, like, the problem that I have with that is that it feels like I'm having my time wasted then. Um, I, you know, I am, like, I'm, the gameplay is enjoyable enough to keep doing it, but having to start back over at the start every time is the opposite of what is fun. Um, but let's have a look and see what, it's, it's very cheap, so, you know, I can't complain too much. $3.69, or what is that, like, 2 bucks US or $2.50 US? That is a really good price for this game. It's, it's hella fun. And you can definitely have, you know, your $3.69 New Zealand worth of fun out of it. Um, warning, this game may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Yeah, I would say so. We move forward, we aim to progress. Challenging arcade style first person shooter with one objective. Be fast. Try not to. Try to avoid. Oh, try not to look back too much. Try to avoid lingering on mistakes. 
Move forward and keep your idol filled with liquid by getting kills. Each run will be a little different with procedurally generated levels. Yep. We measure the past with what we are left with. Yeah, so it is fun. I do like it. And it is about being fast and that's cool. Um, you know, the it's it's fast, it's frenetic. It's not too choosy about whether you get headshots or not. You know, as, as long as you're sort of aiming in that general direction, um, you know, you're doing well. But I, yeah, I don't like the losing progress thing, man. And some some people, this is definitely going to appeal to. But I really, really, um, I don't, I don't get on that vibe. That's not my thing. Um, but let's have a look and see what people have to say. Dune, directed by Gaspar Noe. Um, kill it until it bleeds. Lick the skin off the walls. Go fast and show your friends how cool you are. Um, the best point-and-click adventure I've ever played. Doom took LSD. Uh, pretty short and simple, but incredibly sharp with its mind-bedding art and level design. It's like doing a 10-meter line of cocaine, full sprint, non-stop. Well worth the price for the time spent. Yeah, like I said, the, the price the price thing, the price point really, really saves it. Um, and I think it's definitely worth that. And if, that, if what you've seen in my gameplay here looked fun... Um, and it's the sort of thing that you are into, then get after it, you know, you can, you can try and get to level 11. Um, like I said, I'm not the sort of gamer who's going to continue to smash my head into the wall of post void, um, to try to get to level 11. Um, I just, I just don't have time, man. Like, you know, like my day is, you know, I have a full-time job. I make videos at night. Um, I have a limited amount of time for, like, just video games where I can play them. And it's the same reason why I don't play Dark Souls. Um, Dark Souls, uh, like, I would ne I'm would i not the sort of person that's going to sit here and tell you that Dark Souls is a bad game. I think it's a good game. I think it's great. And uh, obviously lots of people have found a lot of uh, things to like there. But I don't like it, you know, because it is this. It's the same thing, but it's much slower. Dark Souls, this is very fast and frenetic, and you have to learn and you get better and you get incrementally better on each run. Um, Dark Souls is a very slow plotting game, but that you get better on each run. You get better at dealing with the different types of enemies and you learn how to block and dodge and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's the point of the game is the, uh, is the incremental uh, increase in skill and mechanical skill of the game. Um, it's not my, that's not my jam. That's not, that's not how I uh, enjoy games. I like games with story. I like games with progression. I like, uh, you know, I, I like that sort of stuff. Um, I like solving puzzles. I like, sh I do like shooting and stuff. Um, for instance, so the other game that this reminds me of is Hotline Miami, except for, you know, obviously Hotline Miami is top down. Um, but if you die in Hotline Miami, you just restart on that level and it's instant. You're instantly started back at the start and you just do it and you do it and you do it until you've done it and then you move on to the next thing. And then you do it and you do it and you do it and do it until you've done it and then you move on to the next thing. And it is like this neon soaked, crazy frenetic mess where you're like trying to puzzle your way through. Um, but it doesn't make you start back at the very first level every time you die because that would be a nightmare. Um, but I, I beat Hotline Miami and I played Wrong Number as well. I liked both of those games. They're solid um, because they they let you progress, you know, like I... I might have to do a level 15 times to get it, but I know that once I've got it, I don't have to do that level anymore. That's something that's important to me. I don't think this is a bad game. I think it's a good game. I just think it's not in my, you know, it's not vibing for me because of that reason. Because of the Dark Souls thing, because of the, the things that I like about games like Hotline Miami, I don't like having to start all the way over at the start. So, I'm going to leave it there. That is Post Void. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. If you want to check out the game, which I recommend you do if you're into this sort of game, um, click on the link in the description. It's very cheap. Um, you can pick it up and you can be jamming out. Um, even if you even if you've got a couple of uh, spare dollars on Steam and you just want to and you just want to give it a go anyway, um, just to see what it feels like, because it actually feels amazing to to do the shooting and the running and everything. That feels really fun. You know, it's really fast. Um, you move so fast. You move so quickly that it's really fun. Um, but yeah, obviously, I've already expounded upon the reasons why I have issues with it, but that is what it is. So, um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.